الحمد للہ و صلاۃ وسلام علی نبی محمد وعلى علی و صحبہ وسلم اما بعد حبت فلاح A question was asked I feel that when questions are asked to our Ustad or Shuyukh and they do not know who the person being asked about is then they should answer that they do not know them and leave it at that If the Sheikh does not know the person being asked about then they only have a small portion of the information based solely upon what the questioner gave them which is not enough to provide a solid answer Sometimes questioners give false information twisted information and ask questions and if the sheikh doesn't know who's being spoken of then they may give an answer that is based upon false premises may Allah guide us all uh, this in fact is not a question but a comment which is a very uh, beneficial comment uh, and it's something we've talked about prior to this uh, on many occasions and what's very important is for one this this involves a couple of points the first point is the intention of the questioner so when we ask questions to the scholars or to students of knowledge or whoever we take our knowledge from or whoever has the ability uh, uh, to use as a reference then we should give them an accurate description and That is the, that's the first very, very important point. So this has to do with the qast or the niya or the intention of the, of the questioner. That if, are they asking a question because they want knowledge? Or are they asking a question because they want to test the sheikh or what have you? Or are they asking, no, uh, asking a question because they want to use it against someone or a community of people? Uh, so this is very important for us first to know and understanding the intent of the questioner is is very important the second point is regarding the scholar or the person who's being asked and that the scholars uh, one important aspect that the the scholars mention with regards to uh, making fatawa and answering questions is they mention an important principle الحكم على شيء فرع على تصوره which means that a part of the ruling on something uh, involves the correct understanding of the issue so for example if I say if I want a ruling on I say Sheikh I have this stick and it's in my hand and I'm calling on the telephone Sheikh this stick is brown and the, the, t the tip of it is missing and, and so on and so forth uh, you know can I use it to brush my teeth for example so the sheikh will make a, a hukum based on my description my wasf okay and so that's why it's important to make a accurate description it is upon the sheikh to, to ask if he doesn't understand something if he needs clarity that's number one number two when it comes to making a hukum on mu'ayineen on individuals that also uh, the sheikh is going to uh, operate by the knowledge he is given. And I want to point something out which is very important that you find from many of the ulama, especially the major mashayikh, they don't fall into the trap of just making uh, hukum uh, on, on people. You're not going to call some of those major scholars like Fozan and you're going to say, Sheikh, we have a guy, his name is such and such in, in, in America and he does this and he does this. The sheikh is not going to be quick. He's going to look and and uh, you know for the accuracy and he has the wisdom and the experience in dealing with these types of questions and knowing that people use this the statements of the scholars to attack uh du'at and and individuals in various societies so this is why it's very important uh, that this comes from the point of really both the scholar and the one who is asking the question that given an accurate description so that way the sheikh can give an accurate hukum so this is very important unfortunately there are some du'at and there are some even mashayikh that fall into traps and they allow the questioners because they feel that these questioners are thiqat for example they feel these questions questioners are trustworthy so they'll say so and so and so and so and so and so are trustworthy to me 
So whatever they're asking about an individual in America, for example, or an individual in the UK, or an individual in France, or an individual in Germany, then I basically trust that. And then they uh, will make a hukum, so-and-so in France is like this. And this, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best, is a mistake. This is not correct. Because this only causes fitna and facade in many of the countries. And we have countless examples. And all of us are aware, without even me going into discussion about particular cases, where people ask questions, and then everyone says, Oh, Dai so-and-so was refuted by Sheikh so-and-so. That's because the people gave a story, or they gave their case, they made their case, maybe with a good intention, maybe not. We can't judge that intention. But... Uh, the fact is, is perhaps it was not done, uh, these, some of these scenarios are not done accurately. And with that being the case, then the sheikh making a hukum quickly uh, about an individual which could destroy da'wah and destroy communities, as has taken place over many years in many countries, that this is a mistake and, uh, and, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Uh, uh, a last point, as I mentioned, there are many scholars that will not play that game. They will not allow, they don't make those, if you even approach some mashayikh about those kind of questions, they won't even deal with you. They won't even answer you. They don't, they don't play that. Because they know the games of, of, uh, of a lot of the students and a lot of the du'at and a lot of the individuals about causing fitna and discord. So this is a, 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 a point to be aware of. And yes, there is some valid, validity in this comment. And that's why we try to do our best to be as accurate and not to speak about individuals unless you have, uh, you know, you have knowledge of the situation and you have uh, uh, the ability and amongst the other conditions for doing so. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.